Pickleball lovers, let me ask you a question. Do you have to reestablish outside the kitchen line before you hit the next pickleball? No, you really don't. Pickleball lovers, there's so many rules that you don't know about and it just might help you win the next tournament. Let's get started right now and don't forget to have a good day. What happened this point? Mark saw that I went in the kitchen, right? However, he knows that I can't hit it out of the air before reestablishing both feet outside the kitchen, right? However, that's only if you hit the ball out of the air, right? If it bounces, you could live in the kitchen. So this is a rule I was talking about in the introduction. If the ball bounces, you don't have to reestablish outside the kitchen line. And here's another scenario. Your opponents hit a ball, you yell out because you're telling your partner not to hit it, right? What should you really say? Because if that ball landed and you yell out, it's deemed a call, like you're calling it out. But if it's in the air, it's communication. And people ask, is that let's serve and pick a ball in 2023? No, no let's serve and pick a ball. Don't you hate those people that wear green when they go to a tournament to give them a slight advantage because the ball is green as well? If you're in a tournament now, call referee, get a ruling because if the referee says that is the same color of the ball, your opponents have to change their shirt, so it might help you win. And everyone remembers this segment with Tyson McGuffin. Tyson's serve is borderline, right? It's not pass or fail. Referees can argue over it. However, if he has an arguably illegal serve, he gets to redo it as many times as he wants, right? It's not a fault. It's not a fault. Basically, I don't like this rule because he could keep doing that all the time, right? If the referee deems it above his waist or navel, whatever you want to say, he just has to redo it. I would like to see a rule change in 2024 saying it's a fault. The wrong score called in 2023, you can stop playing in the middle of the point and you could win if they did have the wrong score. It'd be a fault on your opponents. However, if the opponents were right and you were wrong, you would lose the point. So I would advise finishing the point first. It's hot at tournaments. You might not be thinking right. You can't even keep score very well. Maybe I'm talking about myself. This is my producer, Mark Napotovich. He told me to clarify this for you. If the server or referee calls the wrong score, then any player may stop play at any time before the return of serve to correct the score. However, if any player stops play after the return of serve, or if any player stops play and the score was actually correct, then the player would have committed a fault. So if the wrong score is called, correct it fast or wait until the end of the rally. I'm not feeling well. Am I good? This is a good question to ask a referee if you're not sure you're in the right place, right? Am I good? Is this the correct place to serve? Am I good? Is this the correct place to receive? It's pretty hot and I don't feel well, so am I good? Good question to ask a referee. Match point against us. I'm in the far court, Alejandra. I just completely screwed up your day. Seriously, because I didn't know the rules. Well, kind of. Now he's serving to the other person. She faulted, right? Watch what happens. And this ref is just looking at me like, oh, like, I'm going to call him out on this. And she does. What happened? I was in the wrong position, right? So she made the right call, and it really hurt on match point. I ruined my partner's day. And look, I give rule segments for a living on YouTube. It's my whole life's pickleball. Look at me. I'm walking off like a sad loser. Look at you. I just want to roast you right now. Question for the audience. How come we didn't lose the prior point when she missed it in the net? I thought right when she served, we would have lost that point. So I said, you know, I had to be in the right position. I really thought I did. Obviously, I wasn't. The ref made the right call. Since the ball did not pass the plane on the net on the serve on the previous point, we didn't lose that point. Pickleball lovers, take a look at that video. It was so good, but let me ask you one more question. What is the most outrageous rule you could think of in pickleball or a rule that might help you win the next tournament? Please leave it in comments. And I'm just trying to keep you a little bit more because I'm a little lonely this Saturday evening. And don't forget to have a good day.